Good morning, how is everybody? It's another beautiful sunny day here in paradise. Look at that, so lovely. So it is 10 past nine in the morning. I've just finished editing yesterday's, which is great, it's really early. First job of the day is I need to go and fence off that rhubarb patch in the chicken run. So come with me, let's get that sorted and then I can just rest a little bit easier that my girls are going to be safe. Just come up into the allotment with the fence and mother started digging them up. Mother, stop! <laughs> That's a big worm. Oh, she said that's too big for me. She's too much, too ladylike. Right, you better move, chicken, because it might get on your head. Oh, rip on the edge. <laughs> Could you not? She is my bloody shadow, isn't she? You are. My shadow cat. Oh, by the way, those muffins, they're actually really good. I made the rookie error of eating them hot straight from the oven. I don't know what it is about muffins, but they never taste good when they're hot, ever. Now they've cooled down, they're actually very, very good. The, um, oh, that smells nice. The, um, what's it called? Rhubarb makes them really moist. The flavour still isn't right, so I'm not sharing the recipe with you just yet, but I do have a, a little inkling of how I'm going to make these kick-ass. So watch this space. Anyway, rewind. Sassy story. We've never talked about Sassy before. So she's a rescue cat and she lived in a caravan with 20 other cats and one lady. Um, and the cats were all taken off this lady. Apparently she had some mental health issues and the money that she was getting from the government she was spending on the cats and she wasn't actually eating and stuff so all a, a bit of a sad story but she was 13 months old when i got her and she'd never been outdoors she was in this caravan and all of these cats they weren't spayed or neutered so you can imagine i have a cat litter tray for one cat and like staying on top of that and the smell and stuff can you imagine 20 cats in one caravan Oh, let's give you a little bit of sassy cat porn. <laughs> Jet, that little black girl, she is the funniest chicken, especially when she runs. Bless her little cotton socks. Hey there, Chuck Chucks. And there's some sweeties, ladies. Me and my shadow. Come on, get your marigolds on. Is this poo picking getting like Groundhog Day for you yet? <laughs> and try a new angle for poo cam today. <laughs> so how is everybody are you all all right felt a bit nervous i've just posted yesterday's video and if you've seen it you'll see i have a little bit a little dinky meltdown um so i i uh, a little bit tentative about hitting publish on that but what the hell like i said there are no rules did anyone actually think farm life was glamorous do you still think it looks glamorous <laughs> Oh dear. So this is being filmed on Saturday. Johnny doesn't work on a Saturday. Well, he doesn't do paid work on a Saturday, but he's got a Volkswagen camper van that he's trying to get on the road. So trust me, he works on a Saturday and a Sunday and most evenings when he's not being chainsawing and is totally knackered. Um, so today he's putting a new clutch into his van. Um, for those that are new around here, he bought a Volkswagen T4, which is what I drive. Um, he copied me, can't say I blame him. Uh, he bought one gosh a year maybe 18 months ago uh, he's completely restoring it it's brilliant it's been such a great project and I think he's not that far off getting it on the road he's done a lot of the interior I don't think he classes that he's finished yet but it's a complete change inside from what it was um, he's done a lot on the bodywork he's completely resprayed it as well which is fun I'm going to give you a little showing of that later 
Um, he's now working on the engine and the mechanics. He's not a mechanic, but he's tinkered his whole life with doing stuff like this, so it comes quite naturally to him. Um, today he's putting a clutch in, so I'm hearing lots of swearing <laughs> from the barn. Uh, it's a lovely sunny day again here, um, but really windy, and the wind has got a real bite to its butt, so uh, it's pretty chilly outside. It's lovely and warm in here, though. Uh-oh. I'm glad I found that before the chickens did. I need to clear that out immediately. Ew. There's a little bit of tension in the workshop then. Okay, I'm making me a salad for my lunch. So I've got two of those Chinese lettuces that I was telling you about the other day. Um, these are ones that I've had in my fridge for ages, like ever such a long time. I'm not even going to show you the date on them. It'll be fine. Uh, so I've pulled the outside leaves off yesterday because they were looking a little bit sad. This bit is absolutely fine though. These really last so, so well. I'm also going to mix red onion and a block of feta cheese crumbled up. And whilst I do all of that, I'm going to stick on some Amazon Prime. Ooh, one little thought I was having today is that mum and my brother, obviously they're not leaving the house, so presumably until there's a vaccine or until this whole thing is over, they're kind of housebound. Mum has a car that she runs. I also have a car that I run, obviously I have Myrtle, the camper van, so I was thinking this morning that I might take Myrtle off the road, try and get the bit of tax back that is outstanding on her, and then we just use one car. It kind of feels at the moment a bit silly to be running, insurance and everything, running two vehicles when I'm the only one driving. So that's a consideration. Has anyone done that? Has anyone sawned their vehicle here in the UK because of the whole pandemic? Is there anything I need to think about that I haven't thought about? Let me know what you think. I've also gone through all my direct debits. I've cancelled the non-essentials. There's a couple left that I'm kind of, I'm thinking about. I'm kind of mulling over whether I actually want to keep them or not. Um, but I urge anyone out there that's a little bit concerned money-wise, get rid of anything that's frivolous at this point. Let's just all kind of, I really think it's a good time to buckle down to hold on to as much cash as you can um, and just really just go through all those payments that go out without you even thinking about them. If you haven't done that over the last 12 months or so, you might be surprised at how much you've got leaving your account for really stuff that isn't actually very important. So I've just knocked a quick salad dressing up. This is tahini garlic powder, soy sauce, uh, lime juice because I don't have any lemons and some warm water from the kettle and that is lunch sorted. Voila!
so I was awake in the middle of the night again, surprise! Um, and I decided that I was going to trim these little beds in the herb garden with a little withy fence. Never made one before. How hard can it be? I didn't even research it. I'm so proud of myself. I just, just decided to do it. Okay, there's the start of my very crappy, very rough and ready little withy fence. Uh, the curry plant is at it, I'm digging that out tomorrow and um, yeah, I'm done for today. It's really cold out here now, I'm going to go and light a fire I think. And that's a happy sight isn't it? Oh, here's a little bit of golden hour for you. Isn't that lovely? So pretty. Right, my beauties, that's me done for the day. I'm absolutely pooped. I'm going to go and shower, put my feet up and edit this video. So I will see you tomorrow, bright and early, Sunday morning. Keep smiling, look after each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.